An investigation is underway after a boardwalk caught fire in Venice. Kind of a waste, too. This is a brand new boardwalk. As News Channel's John Rogers shows us, sort of highlights the serious fire risk we're under in the Tampa Bay area. Good evening. I want to show you this. Take a look. This whole area of this boardwalk is in ruins. And mind you, this boardwalk was brand new. Officials are furious and they want to know who's responsible. Early Sunday morning, firefighters rushed to Service Club Park, where a large portion of this boardwalk caught fire. It was very difficult to reach the blaze, but they furiously doused the flames. And sadly, charred and molten remains were left behind. James, how disappointing is this? Extremely frustrating, John. Uh, Assistant City Engineer James Clinch said this boardwalk was just completed last week. It was supposed to open in a few days. Uh, we're, we're really disappointed in the timing. Uh, if this would have happened six months ago, it would have been the old boardwalk. Investigators determined an illegal campfire was set nearby. The winds picked it up, sparking this massive inferno. I mean, if you look at the underbrush here, it could have burned this whole area. This is a clear example of why it's illegal to set fires at the beach. Whoever did this could face criminal charges. With the way the wind uh, was blowing, it was probably the worst case scenario. Fire Chief Sean Carvey says people need to be especially cautious right now. Humidity is low, and we haven't had rain in a while. Uh, this is our dangerous time of year when it comes into uh, outside fires or brush fires. If you have any idea who caused this devastating blaze, call the Venice Police Department. City officials plan to get to work as soon as possible to rebuild this boardwalk. Reporting in Venice, John Rogers, News Channel 8.